Hello, I'm Michael Oliphier, and welcome to Michael Oliphier Talking Wine. Over the next weeks, we're going to take you on a mystical, magical ride through wine. There'll be no smoke, no mirrors. You won't need to have a degree to understand what we're going to be telling you. It's just going to be a really fun trip. Let's go and have a look. Three hundred and fifty years ago, in 1659, on the 9th of February, Jan van Riebeck, who was the commander of the Dutch refreshment station at what is now Cape Town, the southern tip of the African continent, wrote in his diary, fine warm weather, today, praise be to God, wine was pressed from Cape grapes. Now, what we do know is that those grapes were Muscat grapes. They were probably only the grapes from four vines but it was the start of what has become a huge industry in South Africa. But it is at Groot Constantia that the whole industry really started. This could be regarded as the cradle of the wine industry. And it was, it was also here that, under the ownership of Hendrik Kluti, that Constantia wine became great. It became an icon wine. It was used on the tables of Europe. It was written about by Jane Austen, by Charles Dickens, by Baudelaire. It was found in the cellar of William Pitt the Younger at number 10 Downing Street. It was used by Napoleon when he was in exile on the island of St. Helena. So this great wine from Constantia became internationally known and became something really great. And it wasn't until about the mid-1990s that Constantia wine under the name of Constance became famous again. And here on Groot Constantia, they are now making a wine called Grand Constance, which pays homage to the old Constantia wines. Here we have the beautiful cellar of Hendrik Kluti, quite sort of Georgian in style, very simple lines, and the most amazing frieze above the main cellar door, dated 1791 beautiful putty and a, one of the cherubs riding a phoenix in the middle with wine gushing out of an urn and of course the lion at the top there is the as the nod to Africa and it was here that the great Constantia wines were made the wines which made South African wines well known throughout the world here we have a bottle of the original Constantia wine um, this is dated 1791, White Constantia, from the cellar of His Grace the Duke of Northumberland. And on Groot Constantia, they have recreated um, this wine in their Grand Constance. This is a 2007 vintage. The vineyard is actually next to the manor house. Um, it's made from Muscat de Frontignan grapes, which are picked very sweet and very ripe, fermented in oak barrels, and then mature in oak barrels for about 19 months. And what you land up with is something that is so typical of a Muscat grape. Such a wonderful color. Just look at that sort of amber, amber gold color. Stunning. And looking at the wine from this side, and I suppose it's where the wine is at its deepest, there's some wonderful red, red flashes coming through this, this amber gold. And a just amazing nose, just billows of Muscat grapes and raisins and those lovely delicious soft dried apricots and there's some nuts there as well and it just goes on forever the the aromatics are just wonderful it's the sort of wine that you really want to drink on its own at the end of a meal when you're just quietly sitting before you have coffee but it's the sort of wine that you could actually drink at the beginning of a meal well chilled with a really rich duck liver pate or foie gras or something like that. The two are absolutely made for each other. This is the Groot Constantia Grand Constance, an 18th century icon into a 21st century wine. 